exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, we saw a pretty decent day with warmer temperatures with highs into the mid-40s across the area. Uh, but as we're heading into the evening hours, we do see some cloud cover off to the southwest of our viewing area and could produce just a few sprinkles, uh, especially into Macon County, southern portions of Adair County. But other than that, just a few sprinkles. 44 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the east-southeast at 7 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels 53 percent. Dew point 28, a tumble equally as nice, 46 degrees. Winds are out of the east at 10 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels 47 percent, dew point 27. Well, overnight lows for tonight around 26 degrees. We could see temperatures falling just a few degrees, especially into southeast Iowa. Also, some patchy fog uh, in Iowa as well. Uh, winds will remain on the light side with partly cloudy skies. Surface map showing again right in there. That's where that little disturbance is moving through. Could bring a few sprinkles again to our southern portions of our viewing area. A little bit better chance as we're heading into late Thursday night and into Friday uh, from this little disturbance is moving through the southwestern portions of the U.S. Most of the activity will contain to I-70 and south. Uh, but again, just a few sprinkles are possible in our viewing area very early Friday morning. Otherwise, we are going to see some warming temperatures. And then look at all this moisture off to the west. All of this is going to continue to push eastward as we're heading into Saturday. Uh, the future cast again showing just a little bit of light activity uh, moving through Milan, also into Macon. That is just about it. And then late Thursday night into very early Friday. This is around 11. Again, some very isolated mounts moving through. Uh, again, not, not uh, really producing that much precipitation. However, we will see some as we head into the weekend. Community calendar event for tomorrow, spring break at Pioneer Ridge. Pioneer Ridge Nature Area, located in Wapalo County, is going on tomorrow from 1 to 4.30. Temperatures not too bad, 44 degrees with some mostly sunny skies. For tomorrow, partly sunny, 48 degrees as your high, so just a few degrees warmer than what we topped out for today. Southeast winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow night, 31 degrees. In fact, this is just about normal for this time of year. And again, a few sprinkles are possible with some light winds. Looking ahead for the extended forecast into your Easter weekend, 53 degrees on Friday, partly sunny skies overnight lows Friday night, 35, 57 as your high on Saturday uh, with a 40% chance of showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but no severe weather is expected. On Easter Sunday, 54 degrees. And then we do have a cold front moving through that's bringing a chance for this uh, shower activity late Sunday night into early Monday. Temperatures fall to about freezing mark and only a high of 40 degrees on Monday. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Depending upon that temperature, we could see a little, possibly a little bit of a rain snow mix <laughs> Sunday night. Of course we could. Into Monday. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, thanks, Teresa. Welcome. We'll be right back.